And we're back for another a member a day through the holidays here for Dane by Local. I'm Jason Hafman, your host, and really excited to talk to another DBL member to tell you all about their business. Today, it is Favolden Farm, and Tom is with us. And Tom's going to tell us some of the history behind this name, because I was really curious about how you came up with the name. Tom, welcome, and tell us all about this business you have. Good morning, Jason. I'm happy to be here. We decided to take the name Favolden to be part of our farm, uh, when we started the alpaca business back in 2002. Uh, one of the things that has come about as a result of that is we decided that all the animals that were born on the farm would have Norwegian names like Oslo and Olaf and Lena and uh, uh, Ringaboo, uh, all Norwegian names given to our alpacas. We have about 35 alpacas on the farm up in Black River Falls, and uh, we bring the fiber down into uh, Cottage Grove, where my wife goes through it, sorts it, and decides the best purpose of, of the particular fiber. We make a variety of alpaca products, uh, mostly clothing. Uh, some of it is handmade here on our equipment. Some of it uh, we send off to mills that are cooperatives with us uh, and they take the fiber and blend it with fiber from many other farms in order to get a quantity big enough to mass produce some of the products that we sell to us. So we have a variety of products for our customers. Everything from socks, scarves, mittens, and sweaters, yarn, rovings. Uh, our socks come in various lengths, uh, various sizes, weights uh, for different seasons, and of course, lots of colors. The alpaca itself comes in about 22 natural colors, different shades of brown, black, and of course, white. Um, but we are also able to dye the fiber and uh, produce uh, a variety of, of not so natural <laughs> colors, if you will. <laughs> I've seen you and uh, you and Jenny before and, uh, you know, dating by local meetings, talked to you before, all that sort of stuff. And I heard your name. I remember the name because it's so unique, but I didn't know a lot about what you did. I'm just amazed by all the different products you have. And it's such a key time right now um, with the winter coming and the colder weather. And you guys have great products for that, for us to stay warm here in Wisconsin. How are they different from other types of, you know, other types of products that are out there that are, you know, used to make, uh, mittens and gloves and scarves and hats and those type of things. A lot of people are more uh, familiar with products such, such as sheep's wool or cashmere, which comes from goats. And uh, alpaca is more uh, closely identified with cashmere than it is with sheep's wool. It's softer. It has a smoother texture. There's less scale. So it doesn't have that characteristic itch that you uh, oftentimes find with untreated uh, sheep's wool. It is uh, hollow fibered so that there is insulating value there that uh, is greater than sheep's wool. Some people say up to seven times warmer than, than sheep's wool. So it doesn't need to be as heavy in order to be as warm. In addition, it is uh, a product that does not have any lanolin in it. Sheep's wool is, is heavily um, uh, in better with lamelin, and so without the lamelin, we can say that the alpaca uh, products are hypoallergenic. Having a hat or scarf or things that are soft, keep you warm, aren't bulky, and at the same time, you have to worry about the allergies that sometimes come with other products. That's fantastic. Uh, well, we're happy to hear that, and uh, uh, a lot of our customers, uh, you know, come back and, and specifically tell us, you know, how much they're enjoying, you know, the, the products that we sell. Show us uh, some of the things you have there. I know you got some things on the table. Anything you want to highlight for? for right sure. Now? Uh, we uh, still carry uh, some of the original products that we carried uh, back when we started. Uh, these are the extreme alpaca socks. They're about 75% uh, alpaca and uh, uh, nylon and acrylic to make them wear a little bit stronger. Uh, we have them in different lengths. Co-op that sold this, these uh, that we belong to uh, no longer is able to provide those uh, socks, uh, but we still have a number of those back. Uh, we have started uh, uh, 
membership in a cooperative that makes a, what we think is a replacement sock for that. It's called the Alpaca Tundra sock. Um, we provide fiber to this co-op and then we were able to purchase uh, so many pair at, at wholesale and that we have them available for customers as well. And they are an excellent uh, sock too, they're a thick, thicker sock but great for winter boot socks. I make a number of hats. Uh, see one in the background there, but here's another one that's a reversible hat um, that uh, can yeah, be worn with a brim or if you need it, need it long, uh, you can do that. Uh, I also make headbands. We make them in a variety of different colors and patterns. Um, a number of those with uh, a variety of patterns or else just plain color as well. And those are made with 100% alpaca. Uh, we uh, send fiber to the New England Alpaca Fiber Pool and we get products back such as these mittens, which are warm and toasty inside. You know, it's just a, a delightful uh, product to wear. We got them in, in uh, sizes from small to uh, extra large. Uh, my wife does the weaving on our looms and she has made a variety of, of scarves and I just grabbed a few off of the counter today to show you. In addition, uh, we have products such as dryer balls which are uh, a replacement for the dryer sheets that contain the chemicals that you throw in your dryer to prevent wrinkles. And the dryer balls have the advantage that there are no chemicals uh, involved with them. Uh, plus they absorb the moisture, which speeds up the drying, making your drying experience a more efficient process. I've noticed going to your website, the online alpaca product store. So people have the option to do that. And there's some great things on here including the dryer balls you were just talking about. But you also have your location in Cottage Grove, right? That is open, that you are selling product right now. So people, tell us where, where can people find you, Tom? We, uh, we can be found right next to Summit Credit Union on Gaston Road, around the dead end portion of Gaston Road, uh, just off of I-94 and Highway N. And uh, by calling us and set up an appointment, we sell by appointments so that we can social distance and uh, ensure that we have the best experience for our customers. In addition to shopping here, 2454 Gaston Road, uh, we have the online site at cabaldenfarm.square.site. And uh, we will either have product available here for curbside pickup or we will ship it to them. One of the things that uh, we have offered people is the uh, uh, free gift wrapping. If they uh, give us a little notice, we can have something uh, uh, wrapped and ready to go for them. The yarn that we sell, uh, we have a variety of natural and dyed yarns. And uh, we offer a service where we will take it uh, from the skein to a, uh, a center pole ball. For those that are ready to use it, uh, that's a, a really convenient way of, of uh, pulling the yarn out without it getting all tangled up. And I was we'll reading that too. That was uh, th that complimentary service that you'll be able to put the yarn that way. And I was just thinking about that myself. You know, right now, and this it, with, with what's happening, even with my kids, right? With you know, so they're on the computer all day for school. They're on devices for other things. We're all in this technology world. To be able to have yarn to make something, to do something with your hands, that's completely separate of that, where you're focused, where your mind is quiet. I think that's incredibly important these days. So uh, I love the ability to do that and use a cool local product from you guys to do it. I think that's great. Appreciate that. Thank you. So Tom, is there anything else that we need to talk about here today before we let you go? Because you showed us all these great products. Now I have my, my holiday budget is completely blown out of the water. <laughs> One of the things that I failed to mention was the fact that uh, the Shomers and Cottage Grove, uh, and owners of the Piggly Wiggly in town have offered us a spot on November 14th from nine to three 
uh, to display our products. And uh, so uh, we will be taking advantage of that as well. Uh, and we're very fortunate to uh, have had the support of Dane by Local and the Cottage Grove Chamber of Commerce in order to, uh, to help us. Thanks so much for taking the time to tell us about Favolden Farm today, Tom. Best to you and Ginny through this fourth quarter holiday season. Stay strong, stay local, and uh, we're going to do our best to support you. Thank you. And I encourage you to come out and try some of the products, you know, just touching them and feeling them, especially if there's been a sensitivity to sheep's wool. The vast majority of people do not react to alpaca, but there are some who are extra sensitive. And I would encourage you to, to, to try it first. That's another a member a day through the holidays. We'll be back tomorrow to feature another Dane by Local member.